So this is Joe Fraser, um, Frazier, Fraser. I call him Joe Fraser, but I'm probably getting it a bit wrong. Um, Joe Fraser was uh, proper fucking. When you watch him, you can smell the leather boots. He was a proper old farming, hard as leather boots. Do you know what I mean? Like really tough nut. Beautiful fighter, beautiful man. He um he actually retired. When he retired, he um opened up a boxing gym and just give back to the community. The the guy, he, he's always annoyed me. He hasn't annoyed me. The whole situation with Ali has annoyed me, and it's one of the reasons why I don't actually like Ali. You know, I am a bit of an Ali hater. <coughs> um, I, you know, people are going to put me down for this, but I. I don't think he was the greatest. I certainly don't. Um, if anyone, Fraser was the greatest. It, Fraser come from a farming background. He tied up a bag on an old tree and he used to box. Um, and he broke, actually, Fraser broke his arm. So he got chased by a pig, <laughs> of all things. And he broke his arm when he was younger. And uh, it, 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 his left hand, his left arm, and he could never straighten it out again. Um, because they couldn't afford the uh, the medical bills at the time. And Fraser was just the, the pure definition of hard-working, honourable, old soul. He had an old soul his whole life, and he was just a beautiful man. Now, obviously, this fight, um, sadly, uh, Fraser got a beatdown. Um, and it breaks my heart watching it, and I haven't watched it in years, so we'll watch it in a sec. But... Um, so at the time, Fraser was 29 and 0 with 25 knockouts and 10 title defenses. Foreman was Foreman was a three to one underdog who had not fought anyone of note, building a 37 and 0 record with 34 knockouts. So obviously that come, didn't it? Um, but so form so this fight. Uh, I believe was in between the alleys, the triple alleys. Basically, I'm sure Fraser. Did Fraser win Ali one? I can't remember. I I think he did. Um, and fr and uh, then he fought. I think Ali got all that issues with being a war veteran or uh, going into the um, the war. I forget what war it was. Um, and I think Fraser then fought George Foreman. Um, so George Foreman. Um, Really wasn't a massive name at this point, I don't think. Um, I mean, it was obvious he was a force to be reckoned with. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, this fight really is the pure the pure definition of uh, styles make fights. It really is. I mean, you know, Fraser certainly had... Um, Fraser's ability. So if you watch Fraser a lot, see, I, I've never really studied Foreman because I don't think there's much to study. You know, he's just a bloody huge bloke that just right hands and left hands and pumps you until you're down, essentially. And obviously back in the day, um, well, even now in heavyweight, sorry, but he was a big, big guy for back in the day. You know, if he fought people like Fury... Um, people like that he you know and Ali beat him obviously um so I like Ali for that because I'm not a Foreman fan um <clears throat> but I do get the feeling that maybe he wouldn't have maybe been as good if um if there was fighters that were more I thought it was going to go off then. Fighters that were more, um, that taller and could dominate him a bit more. Now, obviously, Fraser's a small lad and he, um, well, I say small, he's still quite big, but he was, you know, a very short fighter. And <clears throat> obviously, this style of fighting um, suited Foreman for some reason. You know, I can't give, <laughs> I mean, it's very hard, but the, the styles just clashed. And obviously, Foreman... It just suited Foreman to be able to knock out Fraser. And, um, you know, we'll have to watch Fraser and Foreman too because, if I can remember rightly, Fraser really changed his game plan up. Now, I think this fight only goes two rounds, sadly. And it, it breaks my heart because Fraser was such a fucking legend. Such a legend. Um, 
So he's famous for his left hook and the um, uh, the what do you call it? Um, bobbing and weaving. I haven't used that term in a long time. So the one thing with Fraser is you'll notice that he's he's generally always moving forward, always moving forward, and the ducking of the head, which looks so um, unorthodox, you know, he crossed his arms like this. You know, he, cro he, he quite often crossed his arms and ducking and, you know, look, look at this, look. It, you know, it's nothing, it's not like the peekaboo style, but it kind of could be. I mean, it's probably in the same genre as the peekaboo style. Um, but look at, look at the way, like you just, no one in a boxing gym these days would teach you this style. Look, you see the cross arm there. No one in any... Look, there's the cross arm. So he has one hand here by his chin. Um, yeah, no one in any boxing gym will tell you to bow down to the... to the. Obviously, Foreman's quite tall. But he's, his head is almost coming down to Foreman's waist. That's how low he is. Now, obviously, um, you're open to uppercuts. And this is what Foreman does. I like this as well, the way Foreman's pushing him and no one says nothing. Like, back in the day, it was just, you're in a fight. So if you get a bit pushed around, then... Like, can you imagine these days doing that? See, look, you know one of these uppercuts are coming. Um, yeah, <laughs> there you go. I mean, I couldn't have called that better, could I? I mean, I have watched this fight, but years ago. Oh, that's when he's down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. It's famous, that line. Oh, Frazier. Just want to see that left hook connect on him, don't you? You just want to see the, you know, Frazier win. But it, it's always sad watching this because his style just was no good. It, it just wasn't. You know, look at look at Foreman's reach um, and the holding of the head then a little bit and pushing him back. Now, you, you know, that's a really good tell because Foreman, oh, that was a nasty uppercut. Foreman um, knew that he, don't let Frazier get close. Oh, mate, that's fucking, yeah, it's a nice uppercut, but it's just not nice to see because I love Frazier. I genuinely from the bottom of my heart fucking love joe frazier smoking joe frazier you, i've got my favorite boxers of the eras smoking joe without a shadow of a doubt is is my favorite boxer from the era yeah he's he's getting it handed to him i think the bell's just about to go yeah the bell goes so yeah um it's just a shame, isn't it? Because it's just, but like I say, it's the pure definition of uh, styles make fights, you know. And sometimes, sometimes you just will come up against someone that you can't beat, and that doesn't devalue your boxing skills, you know. It it just shows that it 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 shows more that boxing is like a game of chess. It sh it shows that boxing is is so tactical that styles can win fights against other styles you know it's like it's like in chess if you had two bishops for two um knights yeah generally in most cases or you know anyone would choose the two bishops um over the two knights it, it just kind of wins you know and there's certain rules and i think you know foreman's style here was just not let Frazier get close, which obviously you could argue that Frazier should have got close, but it was just hard, wasn't it? I'm not sure what this was about. See, this is, I think, where you get the... Oh, yeah, running away, mate. You'd never, ever fucking see Frazier running away. I mean, this is Joe Frey. This is smoking Joe we're talking about. Hard as fucking leather boots, mate. And uh, he's running away. Like, it's just sad, isn't it? Oh. Oh, mate. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's awful to watch this. It it's really is one of those fights that I really hate watching. 
it's just fucking so sad, man. I love smoking Joe. I've seen the interviews of when he was, you know, in the 2000s, when he was an old cat, you know, he looked like an old jazz cat with a cap on, and the guy was just such a beautiful soul, you know, just, he, he wore his heart on his sleeve, and now I respect that so much, I respect it so much, you wouldn't believe, from, did he stop it? Oh, it's over, I thought he got knocked out, shit, I thought he got completely knocked out. So now Foreman's a heavyweight champion of the world, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a sad fight. Frazier was such a decent guy and sometimes, you know, you shouldn't let your emotions get involved because, you know, you shouldn't discredit Foreman um, and you should be happy for Foreman as a, as a boxing fan. But my emotions are so deep for Frazier that I've, I haven't got the capacity to care for Foreman. And I think... You know, it's quite telling for me, I suppose, because I, ever since I see Fraser get beat like that from Foreman, it, it really has an emotional response in me because obviously Fraser at this point was the um was not the underdog. He was the the he was the guy that was gonna win. And but in this you can see that he was the underdog by a lot, you know. And I think I've always rooted for the underdog and Frazier really pulled my heartstrings with this because you know that he was such a respectful guy. He was such a hardworking, gritty guy that, you know, grew up on fucking rhubarb and fucking apples. Do you know what I mean? Apples from the field and just a fucking bowl of porridge. Because he wasn't, I don't think he was rich well, I don't know. I mean, owning a farm is quite a wealthy business, isn't it? But So he might be, but I, I don't think he was. I think either way, he was hardworking. He was a hardworking man. He used to chop, chop trees down with his hands, with his left arm. He, um, I see something, I see a video where it said that uh, his left arm was always stuck in one position and um, his dad had lost one of his arms and they used to cut down trees together. I mean... You know, you've got two people, you know, and, and the thing is, Foreman has really got a disability. You know, he, he you couldn't call it, uh, you know, you wouldn't class him as disabled, but certainly as a disability in boxing. But he he he, be, he he rose through it. And that's the feeling you get with Fraser. He rose through the, the fire and the flames and he come out smoking. You know, he did. Uh, it's a bit of an allergy there, and I didn't even think of that. But he come out smoking, and, and that's the impression I always get. And that's why I f love Fraser to the bottom of my heart. And if I ever went to America or any, anywhere like that, I would love to go and see his gym or even go to his grave and uh, lay some flowers down because he, he's, you know what I mean? He, he's, he, he's got a heart. He's got a heart, and that's what I want to see. And Ali never showed me that. Ali... Ali just showed me all the bravado and all the bullshit. And I don't... That's not boxing for me. Boxing is about... It's to do with your emotions. Boxing's to do with your, the way you... Your emotions and the way you feel. That's what boxing's about. It's not about fucking showmanship. And boxing is about your own battle with your own life. That's what it's about. Not fucking trying to win all this bullshit and get the most money and cherry pick fights. Boxing should just be about you and... Get, making yourself fucking work and, and getting an outcome. And that's all it should be. So, yeah, you know, it was lovely seeing um, Fraser fight um, for all the videos I've watched and all that. And this one's just sad. So uh, we'll see if this gets copyrighted or not because it seems that certain things, certain videos of mine are getting copyrighted. But, well, it, it done, the thing is... If you understand YouTube, um, copywriting is not an issue. You get copyrighted. Uh, it just means you can't claim money on it. I don't want to claim money. I just want to be able to op open up dialogues about boxing and sobriety and mental health and anything that you want to talk about. Um, <clears throat> and if it takes your mind off stuff that you're going through, then, you know, that's good. Um, so I'm not worried about that. But yesterday I created a video and uh, it got completely... They, removed it they basically said that um the whole video is copyrighted so you can't show any of it so i blacked out the whole screen 
um, to see what would happen, and they eventually uploaded it. So it's just me talking now, which ruins the whole video. But um, so let's see. Anyway, lads, uh, take care of yourselves and uh, keep boxing and stay sober, hopefully.